Hey guys, I'm Dr. Megan Faulkner with Apex Sports Medicine. I'm here with Bethany Shatburn. We're at Streamline CrossFit and we're gonna go over our movement prep and warm-ups for 19.4. So we have uh, basically three movements in this workout. We have snatches, power snatches, bar facing burpees, and the bar muscle up. And then we have, again, um, our bar facing burpees. So we're gonna take you through some ways to get prepped for all of these movements. So the first move we're gonna do for a myofascial release is with the lacrosse ball in the pecs. We've shown this to you guys before. Um, find a nice tender spot here on the pec, good. And then you're gonna raise your arm up overhead, again, to kind of lengthen out, stretch out that tissue, taking it from a shortened length to a longer one, hopefully to help with mobilizing that tissue in any spasms um, or tension that you have. So for this next move, we're gonna mobilize our lats, which we wanna be nice and long and ready for movement, especially for um, our bar muscle ups and the swings, and then also to be able to go overhead for our snatches. So we'll start here on the foam roller. Um, again, this, this muscle, we've done this before. This muscle is a really broad muscle, so you wanna make sure that you roll forward and backwards just to check and make sure you're getting all of that tissue. You're gonna take that tissue through a nice range of motion. Um, and go up and bring your hand out to the floor and then bring the elbow in and palm facing you. Good. And so you wanna find a few different spots on that lat um, that are tender and work the hand about three times each spot. So for the next move, we're gonna do the upper traps. Um, we've done this again, I think on several different videos. So we just wanna make sure that you're working through the upper traps. Um, a lot of this will help kind of get the shoulders set back and down so that they can groove in their um, in their joint just a little bit better, especially since we're going overhead for those snatches so many times. Good. Good. So um, the we're gonna foam roll our quads. We're doing a lot of jumping with these burpees. We've done it in the last few videos, so I think you guys understand, but we wanna make sure we go up and down, <laughs> um, moving uh, through the front of that um, thigh on both sides. upper back is nice and mobile so we're going to take you through that same movement I think from last week yep here we're going to mobilize the um, thoracic spine here so you want to make sure that you're just moving a couple of times in each segment scooch down just a little bit yeah and then you're inching down uh, so that the foam roller is kind of inching up your spine and that you're moving and fulcruming over that uh, foam roller in each one of those segments you can bring the arms up overhead to make that a little bit more intense of a stretch and you want to go all the way up until the mid scap So the last thing we're gonna foam roll is the lower leg. Um, I think we've done this in another video as well. Basically start um, a little bit above the ankle. You don't wanna get on the Achilles tendon, so a little bit higher up. Um, press down on a nice tender spot, and then we'll move the foot through um, gas pedal. You can do circles back and forth. Again, always using an active component to the foam rolling to help mobilize that tissue. So you're gonna start basically from that beginning point and go up to the back of the knee and you wanna do both sides. You can roll in like Bethany's doing there, or you can also roll out and catch all the tissue in the lower legs. So we wanna warm up the pecs. Um, I mean, just one of the muscles that we're using for burpees. Um, but again, another way to actually help warm up the shoulder. So we wanna do, um, instead of doing a stretch, we're gonna do more like an active stretch. Um, what you're gonna do, these are really, really light dumbbells and we're gonna do an eccentric fly. So that means the muscle is contracted as we're lengthening it here. And the uh, dumbbell's just adding a little bit of resistance so we do have that contraction in the pecs here. Um, the added benefit is that we're also going to get not only the pec but down here and get a little bit of the bicep in this whole line here. So you wanna hold for a second or two um, while the arms are at their most stretched out point there and then come back up. And again, this is to stretch out and lengthen out um, the pec muscles while also keeping them activated and ready for movement. Uh, so we'll do 10 reps here. So we're gonna move into the activation portion of our movement prep. And one of our first moves we're gonna do is a snatch grip lat squeeze. It's like a lat pull down, except for you're gonna already be bent over. And this is gonna help activate those lats um, for not only the pulls, that first pull, initial pull for your snatch, but also for um, all of the muscle ups that you'll be doing later on. So you wanna keep a nice flat back here, straight arms, and you're gonna squeeze this part of the muscles here, back and down, hold for a second or two, and then release, and you'll do 10 reps there. 
So we're gonna continue on warming up the shoulders uh, for the snatch. Uh, we're gonna do a snatch grip overhead press plus an overhead squat. So you'll get a small band here, very light. You're gonna pull apart immediately. That's gonna help engage the posterior shoulder um, and the mid tracks here. And then we're gonna press overhead. So again, mimicking the, um, the overhead position in the snatch, helping to activate all the upper body here. You're gonna do 10 reps, good. And now we'll move in, once you finish the 10 reps of the press, you're gonna move into your overhead squat. Good. And now we're helping to kind of attach the activated shoulder here to the rest of the posterior chain and mimic the bottom position of the snatch. So we're gonna do another move to help warm up the, uh, the shoulders and the scapula. Um, and we're gonna do it from the bar hang since we'll be doing a ton of muscle ups in this uh, movement or part of this workout. So what we're gonna do is scapular circles. So basically we're activating all the muscles that control the scaps in all the directions that they um, slide around on the thoracic wall here. So you're gonna pick a direction and you're gonna roll 10 times here. And then you're gonna go the opposite direction. Nice. And you're gonna roll another 10 here. Again, just helping to activate all of the muscles that control the scap and helping to create stability here through the scapulothoracic uh, junction and therefore allowing for a better quality of shoulder motion. So for the last move here, we're gonna uh, warm up our hops for the uh, burpees over the barbell. And we're just gonna do some lateral hops over here, over the barbell so that you can get a sense for the height and also warm up the ankles and the lower legs. So you'll do 20 hops here, nice and easy. So we've been through the mobilization portion of the movement prep and we've been through the activation and now Bethany's gonna take you through our specific warm up so that you can actually get a feel for the moves of the workout you're gonna do. Um, so I would start with two rounds of five snatches and bar, uh, five bar facing burpees, rest about two or three minutes and then go into three bar muscle ups and five bar facing burpees. Well, good luck guys.